Hello and welcome. This is a quick five minute tutorial on how to have an animated uh, avatar as you're seeing right now. Uh, this was requested by my friend. So I'm uh, doing a quick video because I, I feel it will be easier to explain uh, and because I myself I'm, I'm a visual learner. So hopefully this is more helpful than me taking screenshots. <laughs> anyway, let's boot up OBS, make a new scene. And for the sake of the example, let's use this scene I have here called BRB. Uh, I have the display capture here just uh, for for visual reasons. <laughs> now, what you want to do on this scene is add three media sources. Each media source will represent your state of talking, either being idle, basically not talking, uh, any sound or anything or any speech that you're doing will be the talking and I also have the peak personally at uh, the peak for me doesn't proc that often because I don't tend to speak or shout that often but uh, some people do and in fact that's kind of like what they do as b tours and uh, it's you know everybody is different uh, so I just wanted to have that option for those who do now, one thing to keep in mind is that these files I have here are Abby, but uh, as long as it's any type of media source OBS is compatible with, you can use those. For example, GIF and or uh, MOB or Mob, uh, Mob Psycho. <laughs> anyway, so for the sake of this example, let's add idle because there's something specific here. On all of them, you want to add loop and disable everything else. With the idle though, I recommend clicking this one. We start, we start playback. Mostly because like, uh, for example, with my character, uh, as you see, he is blinking. But let's say uh, I would be proccing the... Let me go back to the thing. The I would be talking. If there's a moment of silence, like at that moment, it could be that my character blinks. And this would, this would make it feel kind of awkward because while talking... And the moment I go silent, it'll blink and that'll cause some issues. And it does depend though. I mean, there's there are ways to get around that. And it also depends how your little avatar is animated. But for the sake of this video, just how I did mine, uh, let's. Uh, I just went with that. It, it's just a quick toggle. It doesn't really affect anything. Okay, so let's say you have all three media sources. Let me just move my little avatar down so you can see the OBS. Let's say you have all three of them right here. Now, as you notice that on mine, it has a green screen. This is because uh, it's just a little bit easier. I noticed that if I try to make it transparent, it doesn't really work, uh, especially because it's a video source and you can't have transparency. Uh, probably you can in the GIF, but uh, it's just better to have to allow yourself a uh, wiggle room to add a green screen type of effect. How do you do that? Now, instead of adding it individually on the media source, just go back to the scene itself, right click it, hit filters, uh, hit add and select chroma key. And here just uh, if if you went with green, you could just go with the cust uh, with that one uh, with the, with the preset or go custom color, select color and paste the color code. If you have GIMP or Photoshop, you can copy the color from there and just paste it here. Uh, for now, I'm going to remove this because it does cause my recording to go kind of funky. But <laughs> uh, one last thing I want to talk about chroma key. Even if you copy the specific color you use, uh, you can still use similarity to fine tune it. So it's, uh, it's perfect. Uh, this is because on my case, when I was doing it with my character, even though I was choosing the specific blue color, it was still affecting my green color, <laughs> but uh, just just fine tune that and it'll be easy. Okay, so the last process is that, all right, I got my media sources, I got my chroma key set, how do I enable them? The magic behind that is to go to your microphone or headset, whatever is recording your voice, you, you can even see it here being active, right click it, go to filters, and this is the one that I'm not sure about uh, reason being is because i was trying uh, an older version of obs and it didn't have audio move i had to install this additional plugin manually 
However, I heard that recent versions of OBS have audio move automatically. So if this is the case for you that you have audio move, just click it. And then you'll get something like you're seeing now. Now, you want to make three of them as well. Uh, once more, one where you're idle, talking, and the peak. And just copy all of these same options. Now, here in the... Let's go with idle again. The scene, in this case, it would be the BRP, which is why I mentioned that naming is important. And once you click that, it's going to give you the sources, which we have, the three audio sources or media sources. And click the corresponding one, in this case, idle normal. Uh, after that, be sure to select the threshold of enable under and disable over. You have more options, but this is the one that we want to use. Now, easing and threshold is up to you because every microphone is different and also your, you know, how much decibels your sound goes through your microphones uh, is very as well. Uh, change these as you see fit for when you're not talking when you talk in any way or when you reach peak the peak of your voice or a scream <laughs> once you have that oh actually let me delete this once you have that uh, everything will be working automatically and you'll instantly see the results on your character now if you notice here on brb we'll have all the three sources in fact i can go to it uh, like this for example you Oh, yeah, I, uh, you can't see it because of the, the whole BRB thing. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, you'll have the three sources here, and you'll you'll see them going visible and not visible. And then you go to another scene, and you click plus, add scene, and then you can add your talking avatar, uh, which is what you're seeing here now. reason why we want to do it like this is because you don't... Uh, all the animations have been like stuck together or grouped together into one single image that you can move around and uh, alter in any way. That way you don't have to do it individually. Like, you know, how kind of how like I'm struggling here with the media source being below or above. One last thing I do want to mention is the order. Now, you won't be able to see this because of the way I'm like OBS is recording my screen. But the order of these characters is peak at the top talking in the middle and idle at the bottom uh, OBS is very specific in the order uh, which you put things so follow that order of the media sources you can always change them with the arrow heads here kind of with how I'm doing right now and moving away the <laughs> my character so please be sure to use the arrow so that uh, once again peak is up here talking is here and idle is over here okay hopefully all of that made sense uh, if, if not, <laughs> like uh, shoot me a question or send me a message and I'll try my best to answer. Again, this is very simple, uh, like the most bare bones way to make an animated avatar. But hey, it's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, I'll try to find ways to make it more expressive. But until I can figure something else out, uh, maybe this will help out. It's definitely a little bit more interactive than... Uh, trying to use a discord plugin or a different website plugin this is all used with only obs and the audio move plugin all right hope that helped and until next time take care and have fun playing links